Hey, Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. I had a couple questions uh, from you guys, the audience, on how to improve your horse stance in terms of two areas. You want to know how to improve structure and posture, and you want to know how to improve the depth, getting it down lower. Well, here's a couple of drills that I teach and I use to get you down lower and lower. Number one thing you can do to improve your horse stance's depth is to use the muscles that it takes to do a low horse stance. We do this with one-legged squats. So if you come on over here to this direction, I want you to grab a bench or a chair, put one hand on the bench, and then put one leg up in the air, and I want you to sit your butt one inch off the ground, and then push all the way up. Again, one inch off the ground, this leg stays high, all the way up. And that way, you're using the full muscle in the butt, in the quad, and in the knee, and you're really kind of going up and down, building that strength. Because it's not always flexibility, Sometimes we have to add strength as well. So doing about 20 reps of these one-legged squats per leg. Now, the next thing we can do is we can do wall sits. We want to keep our posture straight, correct? So assume the horse stance width, which is about a foot or so wider than, horse, than shoulder width. Put your back against the door or a wall and sit down until your back is straight until your knees are and your thighs are flat, your toes are forward, and then tuck your hips in and make sure that you're, uh, if you had a level or a cup of tea, you can hold it right on your legs and you'd be perfectly level. And hold that position for about a minute, two minutes, three minutes, up to 10 minutes, this deep. So if you want to improve the depth of your horse stance, you cannot be higher than this. You have to go low and you're gonna to have to get sore, okay? And from there, we can actually go do a third exercise. If you come over here, we can do a horse stance with our hands inside the legs. So not on the knees, but inside the legs, push the knees out, sink the stance down, push the knees out as far as you can get them, and twist the spine at the same time. This is very similar to one of our Qigong postures from the eight brocade system. And then turn back, see on my knees, they stay in an out position the entire time. And this is really stretching out my hips and it's stretching my lower back. Now from there, what I want you to do is stay in this position. Do not go higher than this right now and pull the back straight, but keep the legs down and chest out. And then from there, do the best you can. Farther, 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 like you're sticking your solar plexus toward the wall and your back is flat, your legs are still low, then pull the hands in and hold it for, even if it's just five seconds, and then you collapse. Just hold, 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 and you got it. Practice these techniques. We have the one leg squats, we have the wall sits, and we have the eight brocade style hip flexibility stretches that transition into an actual horse stance that's low. But my rule of thumb is you're never going to develop those muscles that are needed and the flexibility needed to do a low horse stance if you don't suffer a little bit in the beginning. So have fun this weekend suffering in your horse stance.